Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, here we are once again, back at it again with another food review. Now this time, we're changing it up. This is a big deal. It's a wing review. And I don't know if we've ever tried out this, this interesting concept of these things that they call chicken wings, right? Uh, because, right, you've, you've heard of, you can get the drumsticks and, you know, you can get the chicken breast and you can get the chicken flappers, but not really the wings. But Pizza Hut has these things out called chicken wings and needless to say, they have a new flavor of them out at that. Uh, well, really, it's Wing Street, but, you know, Pizza Hut, Wing Street, they kind of, they, they partner up. We, we know that they've been doing that for many, many years. But they have these smoky sriracha wings that are out, $7 for six piece, which at first I was thinking, well, that's a little bit uh, on the pricier end, but not really. That's like an industry standard. That's a standard price. But anyway, $7 for a six piece. This is a six piece in the smoky sriracha wing capsule right there. Uh, what they are, well, they're smoky sriracha wings. And, uh, you know, they said it's in a trendy sriracha sauce to lure in all the all the uh, millennials, if you will. But anyway, in addition to the sriracha and the sauce, it also features um, a jalapeno chili puree, uh, garlic, and a touch of vinegar. So, you know, it really, it sounds like it's going to be an interesting combination, needless to say, and uh, certainly something I wanted to check it out. I know there's a lot of big releases that are coming up, a lot of things that people are talking about. They're saying, you know, hey, can you try this out? Can you try that out? Some people were saying, D don't you dare try this next item out. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm fighting through the peer pressure. And, uh, you know, especially before the biggest releases, I wanted to try out these wings. I was hearing a little bit about them. They released them earlier in the month. So they're kind of, they've been out for a little bit. You know, they've been doing some promotions here and there for them. Uh, again, they've been, they've been saying it's got the trendy sriracha sauce, you know, to lure in the millennials, if you will. And uh, they also said, of course, limited time, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, six piece of them. We know what's in the sauce. Uh, you know, we'll see what they are, what they taste like. I was thinking, should I go with the bone-in wings or the boneless ones? And I went with the bone-in ones this time around. I figure, well, that's more like a traditional wing. Even though sometimes I like the boneless wings, I figure, well, that's just what looks best. So opening up, grand reveal. Here's the sacrifice. It's like I'm giving you a sacrificial dish of wings. You can see the feathers aren't included. Uh, you know, they, they aren't there, nor are they capable of flight this time around. But they said maybe like 20, 25 years from now. They're working on it, but we're just, we're not there yet. Uh, yeah, the wings are semi-coated in the sauce. Like you can see right here, for instance. Not the most coated, but then there they go. They tricked you. They tricked you. There's the sauce right there. Right, that's your drumstick. And then there's the other thing. Right, there you have that. We'll go with this one first. We'll try one of each, why not? Um, but like I've been saying, we know what's in it. You know what's in it, we all know what's in it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what this, ta uh, this sauce tastes like. It'll be an interesting one. The Smoky Sriracha Wings from Pizza Hut. Uh, again, I think I gave the price, $7 for a six piece. So hey, we'll see what it tastes like. They're going in. There you go. You can see there's my nose through that right there. So one down. Um, we'll we'll try out a little bit of the other one, but 
I think really what we're, what, you know, what I wanted to try out, because I've had their wings before, you know, I've, I can't say I'm a wing aficionado from Pizza Hut, but it's certainly something that I'll get before, you know, it's something that I've gotten in the past, albeit the boneless ones, but I'm interested in what the sauce tastes like. I think that's what we're all really interested in. We'll try out the drumstick, but let's just talk for a minute about what I notice about the sauce itself and, and the wing too, but really the sauce, right? <laughs> here's here's what it is. What I notice that, that's interesting to me anyway is actually, you know, for what it is, it's actually a rather complex blend of flavor, flavors, which is nice. It's something that's actually, it's nice to see that they're not just saying, all right, you know, it's it's hot or, oh, it, it tastes a little sweet, right? It's actually a little bit more of a complex blend. And what they said that, you know, is in it here, the sriracha, the jalapeno, uh, the garlic, the touch of vinegar, right? Has these ingredients. And believe it or not, for the most part, they all they all pull through. They all shine through a little bit. Uh, you can definitely taste the sriracha. You can, you can taste a little bit of that jalapeno. Like what you really taste, in my opinion, is first the sriracha is the prevailing flavor. And then you taste this garlic too that's there. And it almost seems like for a second, like these might be conflicting flavors that they might clash. Uh, because granted, garlic can be, you know, it's potent, it's, it's noticeable, but it's not overbearing in this case. You know, it's there, but it's nothing that is to excess. It's a good balance and it's a nice little flavor to get. I don't get that too often in wings. Uh, then you get that little bit of like, you know, a, a touch of almost like, you know, liquefied um, jalapeno flavoring or flakes or, you know, it's just a little touch of it. It's just, it's there. Um, but you notice that too. It's not the most spicy in the world, though on the menu they do put a little bit of a flame for emphasis, but I wouldn't go as far as to call them overly spicy. Like, I'm going to have a sip of water, mostly because I'm thirsty, but a little salty, too. That's another thing I want to mention. So, I think definitely, yeah, for what they are, they're, I'm, they're not bad. I'm not going to say that they're like, these are the best wings I've ever had in my life or anything like that. But, hey, for what they are, honestly, I'm I'm not disappointed. You can see this is this is the leader of them. This is the big one. They call it the big one. Again, they're kind of gone. Like I wish they were a little more sauced up, but you know that's my one thing. But that just comes down to individual preparation, and that's one thing that people were kind of saying with the last video that I did. They were saying, yeah, but you know it might be different from one place to the next, and I get that. But you know sometimes you just notice patterns and consistency. But yeah, I would just maybe even say a little extra sauce would be necessary here, but. Wings themselves aren't bad either. A little bit of that balance between the crispy outer coating and then the tender meat on, on the interior, of course. Yeah, and honestly, as far as wings go, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. Uh, these are actually some of the better ones had recently. You know, I've had times where they look like they're these little, you know, shriveled up things and they're tiny or they're like they're really tough or something. And then I'll, I'll kind of take a second glance in it and I'll be like, I don't think I should really be eating this, should I? But now th these are much better. Honestly, I'm, I'm satisfied with them. Uh, the one thing that I couldn't really taste was a little bit of a touch of vinegar, but they described it as a touch. They didn't say, oh, yeah, these are going to be, you know, soaked in vinegar for 13 days or something like that. Um, just a little bit of a touch. That's the one thing that I think it's missing, but uh, overall, uh, I'm satisfied with them. I think that it's a good sauce. Uh, the quality of the wings themselves is pretty good as well. I just wish there was a little more sauce on them. So that's my one complaint, but... Honestly, especially for something that you would get at Pizza Hut, uh, go out and try it. Give it a shot. I uh, I like it. I think it's a good blend of flavors, and I think they did a good job with it. A little more complex of a flavor, but they did a good job. I think they, they made it very flavorful, very tasty. And with that, out of 10, uh, you know, I'm going to give it an 8.1 out of 10. Uh, again, you know, they're not the world's best wings, but definitely for what they are, uh, they're pretty good. And uh, yeah, 
check them out if you want. If you're at a Pizza Hut and you're kind of craving those wings with the pizza, yeah, maybe get the smoky sriracha wings because I'm satisfied with them. I think they did a good job with them. So with that, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. On a final note, uh, if you're interested, I promote it a lot, but, you know, it's there for you. Uh, check out my newest podcast in this week's show. It was a Halloween-themed episode, <clears throat> but I had a lot of fun with it. I was taking listener-submitted scary stories and paranormal encounters. Uh, the people that saw it so far really enjoyed it, and I think you will too. So check it out. Uh, link to watch it is in my pinned comment there. You can also find it at youtube.com slash podcast. And also, if you want to support this channel, support the show, keep everything going, fun way to do it is by checking out my merch at teespring.com slash stores slash the report of the week. Hope to get some new designs up for you soon. And uh, check it out, see what there is to offer, and uh, just a fun way to do it, like I said. So with that, thank you for watching, and take care. I'm your host, the report of the week, and today's review was for the smoky sriracha wings from Pizza Hut. Thank you, and take care.